Okay. A, a disturbing story. A stepfather caught on camera hitting his stepson with a belt during a game of catch. He could face some felony child abuse charges. The Imperial County Sheriff's Office plans to file a case with the district attorney this afternoon. A neighbor took this video of Anthony Sanchez hitting his stepson in their backyard last week. I am having a problem with you for beating the out of him because he won't catch the ball. You know my son? I don't know your son, but I'm watching you. I'm a father too. I want you to watch that video there. It is. Sanchez was arrested after uh, turning himself in. He has since resigned um, from his elected post there in the town. Joining us now are Anthony Sanchez's attorney, Ryan Childers, and psychologist Dr. Dale Adkins. Uh, thanks for both being here. I, I want to start with you, Ryan, first of all. Um, the video looks bad. He knows it looks bad, right? He, he, you, he's seeking some parenting classes or counseling, but, but this, is, this is not abuse, you say. This is, this is him disciplining a child with behavioral problems. Well, what I'm saying is that my client in doing this was intending to discipline his son. This wasn't about a son who wasn't... Disciplining him for what? Well, and we want to, I want to be careful. My client wants to be careful. We don't want to make this about Zach. This isn't Zach's fault. My client understands that. And so uh, I don't want to go into that. But a lot of people have said this is about a game of catch. And because he wasn't playing catch correctly, this is why that ha this happened. And this that's not the case. A, this is during a game of during catch. During a tell game us, of catch. Tell us in your words, in your client's words, what was happening here? Well, what, uh, again... To do that, I'd have to get into to, to what was going on with Zach, and I don't want to make this about Zach. This isn't Zach's fault. My client has seen the video. I've seen the video. We realize that it's hard to watch. My client has regrets about this, and he realizes that he may need uh, to learn some better coping skills for dealing with a child with behavioral issues such as this. But the question here is, should my client spend six years in prison on felony charges? Is this illegal? Spanking is not illegal in California, and California law... Is that a belt? Because we can see from the video that he reaches down to pick something up. He was throwing the ball earlier, and he had something on the ground. looks like a belt. So it was already there. Picked up the belt to go. So that was a belt that he was spanking him with? Th this is a belt that he was spanking him with, but again, California law says uh, that using something other than your hand does not make it illegal. So the question here... You know, parents can decide for themselves what's right and wrong in their own discipline, but the question here for us is what's illegal? What does um, the, the boy's mother, she's, she's uh, on a pre-plan, she's on a family vacation, your client has stayed behind. That is correct. Um, what, how is she doing and how is you, the, the child doing? Well, needless to say, the whole family is torn up by this entire event. I mean, this, before they went to authorities, this was put on Facebook. Uh, and so my client has, has suffered... Uh, a tremendous amount of outrage about this and of course young Zach has had uh, an event that was you know horrible for him exposed to the world and this is something that he's gonna have to deal with when he goes back to class uh, and, and and for quite a long time. So he's aware, Zach is aware of uh, that this has become a national story. The family has tried to shield him as much as possible but it, it, uh, it just just couldn't be done uh, to the extent they'd like so he is aware yes. How often would your client discipline the child this way? Well, uh, my understanding is is that from the mother, the maternal grandfather, and everybody that's been around my client is that they've never seen an instance where they felt that his discipline with young Zach was ever inappropriate or crossed the line. So are they, are they you've talked about his behavioral issues. Um, if the family is dealing with his behavioral issues with this sort of, with this sort of, this is how they're dealing with his behavioral issues. Well, and I, I can't speak to other instances of discipline, but certainly they believe that spanking is an appropriate form of discipline. Uh, that's not and this is the spank this is spanking well in this instance uh, there was a belt used and I'm not saying that in every instance of discipline there's a belt used I, I can't speak to that I don't know about that I want to bring in our uh, dr. Dale Atkins here and I want to yes. ask you for a child with behavioral issues is this a pr inappropriate response it is generally an inappropriate response children in with inappropriate response. inappropriate response children with behavioral issues particularly children who have attention issues have difficulty regulating themselves they have difficulty staying in the moment and they really do better not with aggression, which then teaches them that this is a way to deal with problems and to deal with their own self-regulation issues, but rather ways that you can deal with them more appropriately are trying to address them right. personally. And when you talk about yes. self-regulation, I mean, I think uh, for a lot of parents, this is when a child is compelled to do something. A child can't say, 
I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do something. They're, 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 it, whether it's a movement or a sound or that's acting exactly out, right. they, can't, they can't regulate themselves. That's exactly right. And that's one of the issues. When people talk about trying to discipline a child who has behavioral issues, the issue is that the child has issues regulating their own behavior. And that's what this, in part, this is about. But I'd like to go back to one thing that you said, which was this really isn't about the child. This really is about the child. And I know you're speaking about a legal perspective, but what we're talking about is how we deal with children whether they have behavioral issues or not. And I believe that if we all had a sense of when a parent is angry, when a parent is frustrated, this is exactly the time that you don't want to be engaged in a physical in- interaction with your child. And that's when many people are interacting with so, their so children. So you're saying never spank a child? This isn't, are you, this are you saying at is this, all? This isn't a spanking no, 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 no. I'm not speaking. I, I got you. But right. the reality is a p- spanking is going to be a part of this conversation because it goes beyond beyond just this incident. So I'm asking you, do you believe never spanking a child? That's that's and, a, and, that's, and that's your belief? Let me preface that because there has been a, a changing thought about this from professionals over the course of time. When I was quite young, spanking was considered the standard for disciplining children. So you're asking me a direct question, Roland, and my direct answer is that I do not believe in spanking children. I do not believe in hitting children. I believe, and so much of the research in my own 40 experiences of work, 30 years of experiences working with children, working with families, dealing with abuse for most of my life, is that it does not have a positive effect, not only on the child, it does not have a positive effect, and it has a deleterious effect on the relationship between the parent and child often. It does nothing to enhance a child's self-esteem. It often makes parents feel terrible about themselves afterwards, and children remember, remember very, very well, not only was said to them, but was done to them. But isn't there a difference between, though, abuse and spanking? Because yes. I, can t- I, I can tell you flat out, I got spanked, and I can tell you right now that had my dad not disciplined me, my brother, and my three sisters, look, we would have been off that deep end, and not one of his children had to go bail out. And so some people sit here, and I can tell you right now, some people say, hey, that's not right and proper, but I can tell you right now, I know from my own experience, anecdotal, it was real, and I can imagine where I would have been had my dad not put his foot down and disciplined us. There are ways to put one's foot down. There are ways to deal with children. And most people in this country have been spanked. Most children have been humiliated. Most children have been made to feel in situations where they are really not in control of themselves, that they are made to feel less than. One of the things about hitting kids is that what it says is it's okay for a big person to hit a little person. It's okay for a strong person to hit a to weaker person. And I think there are ways. I don't know the discussion about having, is spanking good or bad? The issue is what are we doing to our children and what are we doing as a society? That a, that's my point. And that's a broader, and, and I appreciate and a lot of us Come from come at this from the angle of what happened to us when we were yes. kids, but this is a story about a child with behavioral issues yes. and this particular case and whether this is routine spanking, which I think anybody watching this does not think this is a kid being spanked. This is a belt and some an adult who's clearly angry. We can't hear what was going on there. You don't want to tell us exactly what the behavior was that elicited this response. But is your client ever going to do something like this again? Do you think? Well. Uh I don't believe that, I think that my client has learned uh, that this may have been excessive and, and he's very sorry about the fact that, that there may have been some excessive action here. But again, this comes back to, is this a felony that he should spend six years in prison for? Right. Is this something that is illegal? I realize people have uh, opinions about discipline. Sure. Uh, and, and seeing this video has inflamed a lot of people and we understand that. But what is the appropriate legal course here? or? has the sheriff's department overreached because of the pressure they've gotten from social media and the blogosphere. Can I ask you another question? Is this family, through the school district or whatever, do they have help and support with the behavioral issues and the ADHD part, part of this story? Absolutely. Because there are uh, a lot of professionals, there's early intervention, there's a lot of things that states, trained, trained adults who can help families figure out how to handle behavior that is that is hard to contain. And, and uh, Zach has had treatment and is an ongoing treatment both with a psychiatrist and a psychologist and a psychologist. Okay, great. Ryan, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. Also, Dale, Dr. Dale Atkins. I'm sure it's a discussion we're going to continue to have.